You know it's release day whenever 100 YouTubers all upload their videos simultaneously at 9 a.m. We're here in Tokyo today to talk to you about the Fujifilm X-E4. I'm kidding, we're here in Canada. We actually use the X-E3 extensively as our travel camera uh, since it came out in 2017. As you can see, a very, very small camera here. This is the new 27 millimeter F2.8, uh, which is just kind of, if I was out walking around in Tokyo, uh, this is what I would take out on that adventure. Where's your beer, Marshall? Drink it. Since we unfortunately cannot go to Tokyo today. Uh, I'm actually going to go around our city and I'm gonna do some photography for my friends that have shops that need content for their social media profiles and show you how this camera works in the field. The Fujifilm X-E4 is a surprisingly lightweight and compact camera body that gives you access to all 37 plus of the Fujifilm X-mount lenses. A lot of the Fujifilm primes are also very small which balance great on this camera. We have arrived in the village of St. Jacobs, a small town about 15, 20 minutes from where I'm usually at in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Uh, my buddy Nick from the food show that you may or may not know that we do on another channel, not, not on this channel. <laughs> He's a great camper. You're doing a great job, Taylor. Thank you. Has actually purchased pretty much like an entire two blocks of the downtown core here. Uh, and my friend Leslie actually runs social media both for Nick's businesses as well as the village of St. Jacob's here. So uh, my time spent here, I can get a lot of variety very quickly that is useful images um, that will go somewhere. Uh, I feel like that's an important thing for myself finding some sort of motivation within photography. I want there to always be a final purpose to the images that I'm taking that it's fun to just go out and take images, but I find a lot more kind of core value if I'm creating something that I know is going to be valuable for somebody else. So let's go take some photos with the Fuji X-E4. Didn't frame that one quite right. With me, I have this light wand and this camera with the 27 millimeter lens, and that's all I'm going to be taking these photos with. So let's, uh, let's go find Nick. And you might also notice that I'm always uh, color coordinating the color of my jacket to the brand. Although I'm not sure Fuji still uses green, but they were green, so I figured it's better than a brighter, different color. At 26.1 megapixels, this camera gives you enough resolution to handle really any situation. In fact, for my work as a commercial and wedding photographer, I prefer this resolution to anything larger. This camera is also incredibly affordable for the quality that you're getting. You're getting the same 4th gen X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor and X-Processor 4 that you'd find in something like the X-T4. And that means that you're going to be getting pro level autofocus and low light performance in this camera. Focusing in low light is really easy and you're getting 100% phase detect autofocus coverage with face and IAF as well. I'm shooting this camera on aperture priority. I'm set to 2.8. Uh, the shutter speed will drop to about 100 before the ISO kicks in. So the slowest shutter speed I'm getting today is 100. I would say in pretty much every circumstance, this camera has been bang on for exactly what I want the exposure to look like. So uh, the automatic setting, something really amazing is going on here. Everything is just exactly as I would have exposed it in manual mode. On paper, the battery claims to get 380 frames per charge, but in the actual field, I'm seeing significantly more than that. I'm using both the EVF as well as the screen and kind of moving back and forth. It's a very seamless organic process. The EVF actually runs at 100 frames per second, so it's very smooth and easy to look at. I also really enjoy that the viewfinder is offset, so I'm not cramming my face and my nose is up against the LCD, that I can move my face away. I feel like you get a better connection to your subject by using an offset viewfinder such as this. One of the things that I love the most about Fuji cameras is how good the files just come straight into the camera as a JPEG. So basically if I'm out traveling, I actually have the Bluetooth set up so that these images are going straight to my phone. So when I turn my camera off, all of my images are actually up here. So if I wanna upload anything to social media, it's just a very easy transition for me to do. I feel like it really is one of the most seamless cameras you can use in regards to the app. It's, uh, it's really, really cool. If you're watching this, you likely already know how amazing the Fuji colors are, as well as the 18 film simulations that come with the camera. In this video, everything is shot in standard, but in the field, I find myself using classic Chrome pretty often for photography and a turn off for video. You can also create and build your own film simulations within the camera as well. 
To speak to the full video feature set that comes with this camera, you're getting DCI 4K 30H264 with no additional crop, uh, 422 10-bit if you're going out through HDMI, or 420 8-bit in camera. Full HD goes up to 240p, which is amazing. Face and eye detect, F-log, microphone input, USB-C adapter for headphones, or the USB-C port can also be used for charging the camera as well. And whether you're shooting photography or video with this camera, there is a natural reality and realness to the images that you're going to see and a three-dimensionality that just feels really, really nice. Now you might be noticing two additional pieces on the camera. This is the, the camera just base model and this is the camera with those two additional pieces. Now the first piece attaches to the bottom, as you can see right here, and it actually gives you this grip here. So if you're using the camera a little bit more, you know you're going out to take a lot of photos, it's a little more ergonomic to, to use this grip. The other piece, and maybe my favorite addition here, is this piece right here. So this attaches to your hot shoe, and it just makes the camera so much more ergonomic. It, it might seem silly that it's just this little thumb rest right here. It really does a lot for just making the camera more enjoyable to shoot with. Fuji XE4, fantastic camera. Shout out to Marshall for uh, holding the smoke. Tim for holding the camera. Please subscribe. I need your help to continue on YouTube. <laughs> this is getting really smoky. <laughs>